Welcome to Keep the Faith Ministry News. The earthquake measured a magnitude of 7.3 on the Richter scale, which is classified as a major event and can cause damage to buildings which may collapse. With a quake of such magnitude, the effects may be felt up to 155 miles away from the epicenter. The epicenter has been identified in the Solomon Sea, 58 kilometers, 36 miles, southwest of Honiarum, Solomon Islands. With a depth reported by Volcano Discovery of up to 10 kilometers, 6.2 miles, severe shaking was experienced at the epicenter. Following the tremor, U.S. Tsunami Warning System has warned of a potential tsunami threat at the Solomon Islands. The tsunami warning was issued at 2.10 a.m. UTC. The warning said that hazardous tsunami waves are possible for coast within 300 kilometers of the quake epicenter. According to SBS News, the Met Service for the Solomon Islands has since removed the tsunami warning. While it is thought that there are now no tsunami threats, it is warned that there will be unusual sea currents following the earthquake. Residents of the Solomon Islands have been urged to move to higher ground by the office of the Prime Minister. However, the office of the Prime Minister noted that there has been no severe damage to buildings in Honiara, the capital. The quake near Malango saw people report severe and violent shaking which knocked televisions and other household items onto the ground. A spokesperson from the Prime Minister said, quote, People are advised to move to higher ground now. Office tables and computers were thrown all over. It was very scary. Journalist Charlie Peringi was standing outside a warehouse near a primary school on the outskirts of Oniara when the earthquake hit. He said, quote, the earthquake rocked the place. It was a huge one. We were all shocked and everyone is running everywhere. The earthquake also saw power outages in some areas of the region and caused people to rush out of their offices to seek higher ground. Quote, the use which men have made of their capabilities by misusing and abusing their God-given talents has brought confusion into the world. They have left the guardianship of Christ for the guardianship of the great rebel, the prince of darkness. Man alone is accountable for the strange fire which has been mingled with the sacred. The accumulation of many things which minister to lust and ambition has brought upon the world the judgment of God. When in difficulty, philosophers and the great men of earth desire to satisfy their minds without appealing to God, they ventilate their philosophy in regard to the heavens and the earth, accounting for plagues, pestilence, epidemics, earthquakes, and famines by their supposed science. Hundreds of questions relating to creation and providence they will attempt to solve by saying, This is a law of nature. Final Events, page 409. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching.